There have been some action stars that have been very memorable in America. Today, Dwayne Johnson and Keanu Reeves are remembered for their recent action films. And in the past, there have been actors such as Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sylvester Stallone. There have been some foreign actors that practiced martial arts, like Jet Li and Bruce Lee, that received international success. Jackie Chan is no exception. What makes Jackie Chan lovable is the fact that he always plays as a well-liked good guy who plays with people. Martial arts expert and actor Jackie Chan's unique blend of impressive martial arts and screwball physical comedy has helped make him an international film star that has been well-loved by his fans. Jackie Chan was born in Hong Kong, China on April 7, 1954. When he was seven years old, Jackie Chan received his education at a Hong Kong boarding school. During the next 10 years, he studied many jacks of trade, such as martial arts, singing, drama, and acrobatics. He made his acting debut in the Cantonese movie, Big and Little Wong Ten Bar, when he was only eight years old. Ever since then, he came out in a fair amount of musicals. When he graduated in 1971, the ambitious actor kept himself employed as a stuntman for films. His recognizable work was his 1972 film, Fist of Fury, which starred the other martial arts action star, Bruce Lee. However, Lee died the following year. <laughs> In the 1970s, Jackie Chan had become a martial arts superstar and worked with producer and director Lo Wei. After the late 1970s, the actor decided to add a different style to his acting. Jackie had decided to add some slapstick style to his fighting abilities, since the actor and stuntman Buster Keaton inspired him. Other filmmakers took notice and allowed Jackie to use his formulating approach to fight against the bad guys in the movies. Hence, Jackie decided to remove his image of the likeliness of being compared to kung fu expert Bruce Lee. When Jackie starred in the hit film Snake in the Eagle Shadow, he impressed audiences and film critics. During the same year, Drunken Master was released. The film became a classic in China because it popularized the genre of kung fu comedy. The other two films that were released in the 1980s, Half a Loaf of Kung Fu and The Young Master, has still given Jackie Chan the star spotlight of China's most beloved actor. Hey Batman, come on! In a minute! In the same year the movie's released, Chan attempted to break into Hollywood by starring in The Big Brawl. However, the movie underperformed at the box office. But back in China, Jackie Chan continued to be adored by his fans for making action films with a blend of comedy, such as Police Story. <laughs> he then did Miracles in 1989, a remake of the Frank Capra movie A Pocket Full of Miracles, which proved to be a hit with critics and audiences. Jackie Chan also had the success of creating his own comic book character called Spartan X, which was recognized in America. In 1996, he had a New Line Cinema film released called Rumble in the Bronx. You are all garbage! The movie proved to be a hit in America and had given Chan an opportunity to star in Jackie Chan's first strike and Mr. Nice Guy. The films underperformed at the box office, but what took Americans by surprise is the film Rush Hour. Put your bag in the back! The movie stars Jackie Chan and Chris Tucker as cops with personality differences, one being a cop who plays by the rules, and the other being a loose cannon cop who does not play by the rules. The dynamic duo has a wonderful chemistry that will remind film bluffs of other buddy cop movies such as the Lethal Weapon series. The film became a big hit at the box office, along with other movies like Saving Private Ryan. Hold this for me. No, no, that's sure, sure, you hold it. In 2000, Jackie Chan starred with Owen Wilson in the film Shanghai Noon. It was a movie that explored the Western setting and gave Chan and Wilson comedic performances with comedic action flair. The film also co-starred Lucy Liu. Hey, this is nice. Hey, cutie. It wasn't that long before Jackie Chan reunited with Chris Tucker to do Rush Hour 2. The movie provided twice the laughs in action, therefore making it another box office hit. Around 2002, Jackie Chan starred in the film The Tuxedo, starring Jennifer Love Hewitt. 
The film is an action comedy that tells the tale of a taxi driver who receives a special tuxedo that can give fighting abilities to the person who wears it. During the time of the film's release, Jackie received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. In 2003, Jackie Chan and Owen Wilson starred in Shanghai Nights, a sequel to Shanghai Noon. In the same year, The Medallion was released. However, it also underperformed at the box office. In 2004, there was the release of Around the World in 80 Days, but it was also a box office flop. Tell him to stop playing around and talk right. How can I tell him? I don't speak French. Nonetheless, he starred in Rush Hour 3 in 2007. In the following year, he provided the voice work for the 3D animated movie Kung Fu Panda for the character Master Monkey. Tigress, you've got to try this. Hmm. In that same year, he starred in the action film The Forbidden Kingdom with Jet Li co-starring. In 2010, Jackie Chan starred in kid-friendly movies such as The Spy Next Door and the hit reboot of The Karate Kid. Take it off. Jackie plays as a martial arts master who teaches a 12-year-old boy how to fight. He also wrote and starred in the action comedy Little Big Soldier the same year. He then completed a historical war drama called 1911, which he co-directed, and then returned to the action genre by making C712. In 2015, he made a financially successful movie called Dragon Blade a 3D historical action movie that starred John Cusack and Adrian Brody. I still can't believe I'm standing here. In 2016, Jackie Chan won his honorary Oscar because of his prestigious career from China to the United States. This made him the first Chinese actor to win an honorary Academy Award. Chan will always continue to surprise his fans and will always be remembered as the actor who broke out the Bruce Lee-like image, and for using slapstick and physical fighting humor which has made him recognizable to his fans, audiences, and film critics. What's up? You got the problem? Chan will always be an iconic actor that has made his mark in cinema by exploring genres as well as doing family films.